Hi everyone, this is Lindsay Ashley. I am the Trade Marketing Manager for Food Service with Rubbermaid Commercial Products. With me today I have Preston Knapp who is also a Trade Marketing Manager over our Decorative Refuse lines. We are going to kind of run you through several of our new innovation projects that are kicking off or have kicked off for this year so that you are more familiar with the product lines. And obviously, if you have any questions, uh, at the end, we're going to give you uh, John Younghouse's contact information as well. So just keep your questions handy and send that email <laughs> if need be. So for the agenda today, we're going to talk through Vented Slim Jim, Vented Brute, Configure, which is a decorative refuse product line, Enhance, another decorative refuse uh, product collection, and then our new color-coded food service system. So first I'd like to t speak to Vented Slim Jim. This launched earlier this year, and you can see there are several changes to the actual cans themselves, as well as the dolly. We've extended those to have double, triple, and quadruple, and I'll get into the features and benefits here in a minute. So when it comes to product innovation launches here at RCP, we tend to look at a lot of industry trends. So looking at things like what's important to the operator? Well, we need an efficient uh, management system for waste. There's a growing focus on food waste, as we've all seen with organic waste collection. Urban densification as kitchens get smaller and folks you know, it's just more populated, there's more options, uh, re real estate becomes, you know, a hot commodity, so working within those realms. And then obviously mitigating workplace injury. So th that's a huge contributor to an operation's costs with workman's comp claims. So trying to find products that fit into those categories and help with those issues. A couple key user insights. So we all know that changing can liners is a frequent task. And obviously with the change with changing those out, you have folks on staff who could injure themselves, uh, misuse getting the liner out of the can. And also when it comes to transporting these around the facility in either front or back of house, are they dragging them across the parking lot, which will eventually wear down the can? Or could they put them in a dolly and have you know, a better way to get out to the dumpster and eliminate that uh, risk for injury? So those are a couple points that we took a look at. For the new Slim Jim, there are three areas where we really concentrated. We wanted it to fit in the tightest spaces. So especially when you're thinking of back of house, uh, we wanted to improve productivity with the staff, with the operation of, of how folks are interacting with the cans. And we obviously want to make them designed to last so that they will remain in use for a long time and folks know they're getting a commercial grade product. So for the transition, as you may be aware, we had our swoop cans, which you'll see on the top left box of the PowerPoint here. We've changed those now to our vented in 16 and 23 gallon capacities. And you'll see a difference too with the branding. So our, our RCP badge is on now on the front side of that, as well as a couple other features that I will I'll speak to here in, in a minute. But with our dollies, we've extended them into double, triple, and quadruple. And we've also repositioned the single dolly price uh, by lowering it uh, by 25% to make us more competitive in the market as well. We also have a trainable dolly uh, redesign. So on the left, you'll see what we offered before, and on the right is the new design that will be available in October. So we wanted to make sure that this had an updated look to it, and it was a little bit more low profile. So into the features and benefits. We've reinforced the rim. We have the bag cinches on the upper left where you don't have to, that eliminates knotting the bags, which takes up time in your operation. The venting channels, which allows you to lift the, the bag out much easier. 
the handle on the base of the can. So if you do get your can out to where it needs to be emptied, you can pick that up from the bottom very easily. Another point I'd like to mention is that on the venting channels off to the left, you'll see that step feature, that line. That's made to help with when you're trying to nest cans, so you're stacking them inside so that they don't get stuck as easily as they would have in the past. So with our new venting channels, uh, it actually makes removing liners 80% easier. So that's a really great benefit. Um, and we've also tested these products so that they are resistant to crushing, that the handles don't tear, and, and again, made with the commercial grade construction. So here, I just wanted to go through and show you the different colors that are available with our different sizes, and also the, to see the lid option colors as well. We do have a label kit that will be coming out this fall. So if folks wanted to use um, a different type of recycling or labeling program with Slim Jim, as opposed to getting something, let's say, in the decorative refuse line, they could use these labels with that and, and also in coordination with the dolly options. So into the stainless steel dolly features and benefits, you can transport two, one, two, three, or four containers, depending on what you need. There's a locking feature that creates a very stable station for you to use. And the internal structure keeps containers secure and in place. There are quiet non-marking casters, and as I mentioned, the locking feature. So when you put those cans into these dollies, they're not gonna move around a lot. They're, they fit very snug within the space. They're easy to clean. They, the, one of the biggest benefits, I think, is that they don't rust or chip. And it, again, it makes for you know, quiet maneuverability, which can be important, especially if you're using this somehow in front of house or in an area that just needs to be a little bit more quiet. So the trainable dolly features and benefits. Um, they have a side clip connection. So this means that you can train several together. There's a foot pedal release for quick uh, disconnection. And then the structural foam construction, you know, obviously that, that'll uh, lend to, you know, a long durability life cycle. Uh, and it is specifically designed for the new Slim Jim cans. Again, this is available later in October. So there's several usage occasions that, that these products would fit into. We have food service and property management. So we've got a lot of different options. So food services, you think about that, it's okay, maybe behind the bar. It's under a countertop. It's in the restroom. Um, you know, it's in a dishwashing area. And then for property management, you have office or desk, desk side, you have conference rooms, a break area, a cafe. So just be thinking about where these would fit and with different end users of, of different opportunities within their facilities. So now onto a competitive overview. You can see on the left here, we've compared ourselves to several of our competitors. And basically what it breaks down to when you look at do, do, who has venting channels, who has rim and base handles, a step feature, a stainless dolly or a trainable dolly, RCP hits all those boxes, whereas our competitors may have one or two, but certainly not all. We also offer the largest color offering, and we have both 16 and 23 gallons available. So as I mentioned, improved productivity was one of our major points that we wanted to accomplish with this launch. And as you can see, with our, compared to even our straight wall prior to the vented launch, we've achieved 80% pull force reduction. That means with getting your liner out of the can. So again, that improved productivity really hits home in an operation when you're not having to struggle to get that liner out of the can. We did additional testing in, as far as durability. So a cold drop and a rim crush test, we both passed both. 
Uh, in other competitive brands, they experienced at least one failure. We Ours was the only one that passed both. I would encourage you, if you're curious, to go look at YouTube. And there's several different videos, uh, especially on our brute cans, but they have a lot of videos out there of, you know, trucks running over a brute or backing into a wall. And it's amazing to watch how they really just bounce back. And that just comes back to the quality of our products. And they're entertaining, by the way. So Vented Brute, speaking of. Did you like my segue here into that? So here we go with Vented Brew. We've got venting channels with easier to lift liners. We have the contoured base handles similar to the Vented Slim Jim. Uh, we have liner cinches. Again, a lot of the same features that you, that you would notice in our, our Vented Slim Jim product. You've got a reinforced rounded handle, the strengthened base, and commercial grade construction. Here you'll see the different color options, and I know this is a bit of an eye chart and a lot to look at on one slide, but it does show the variety of sizes and colors that are available with Brute. So if you have a question about, you know, oh, does that come in yellow? Is that an, available in a 10 gallon? You know, this is just an easy way to say, yes, it does. So again, with the performance with pull force, uh, the 32 gallon, um, it, they improved, you know, significantly with 32 and with the 44 compared to our previous versions. So again, just showing that, you know, our innovation achieved what we wanted it to. So the 10 gallon became 41% easier with the pull force and the 55 gallon became 32% easier. So now I'm going to hand it over to Preston, and he's going to run through our configure line. So take it away, Preston. Thanks, Lindsay, and uh, hello, everyone. Uh, we'll start with configure, and these are our uh, line of decorative refuse, more front of house uh, containers, and that's what I'll, I'll speak to you about with configure and enhance. Um, so this configure collection you see here on the page is uh, available now. Uh, we started shipping it in April. Uh, and the reason uh, why we developed Configure is, as uh, you know, as Lindsay mentioned, we think a lot about trash, probably a little bit more than most people, and we did a lot of research on uh, you know trash and recycling in commercial facilities. I'll just go through a couple of uh, stats for you on how much trash gets generated, uh, where it gets generated, and we know that uh, in commercial facilities, more than ever, uh, people are concerned about. Uh, where things get diverted, if things get uh, diverted to landfill or compost or mixed recycling. And we've done a lot of research and found that uh, in, in every area of the country, even in various cities, uh, even in various uh, blocks of various cities, there's different ways people need to recycle and how they recycle. And there's different incentives based on uh, what's in the facility and how things get taken away from the facility. So, you know, with all that research, I think Lindsay shared the new waste stream labels that are coming out. We're also developing this new configure collection that's going to be a uh, custom tailorable front of house metal uh, collection. So let me get to a couple more stats here and I'll get into that product. Um, so a lot of waste generated in commercial facilities. Again, uh, commercial facilities, especially restaurants, are getting more and more concerned about, uh, you know, managing that waste. And this is because recycling laws, you know, with the states having mandatory recycling laws, various cities have recycling laws, and we think more and more um, are going to evolve as, as we go along here into the future. Okay, so with that in mind, like I said, configure, we, we, we took all that research and we wanted to put that into a custom tailorable front of house, uh, nice looking uh, container. So that's what you see there, a nice glamour shot of configure. And I'll get into the details here. Um, so lots of different shapes, styles, and sizes. Um, you can get it in indoor or outdoor options. Uh, the outdoor option comes with an included uh, rain hood. Um, you can also purchase additional signage. Um, so you can see there on that, that image on the lower left, uh, if you want some of those placards, uh, you can have those. It makes it easier to read uh, the waste stream labels as you go up to uh, throw away your trash. Um, also, optional features are a, a door lock uh, if someone wants to lock up their trash. Uh, or custom logos, uh, uh, laser cut or, or vinyl decals are available as well. Uh, on the container itself, uh, each container has a magnetic connection, um, so you can align up the containers in a nice, neat line. A lot of times you see multi-stream containers and they're, they're not lined up correctly, so this allows you to do that uh, very easily. Um, also on the container is a, a hinged door. 
allows you to remove an included uh, plastic liner. It looks very similar to a Slim Jim. It's not, but it looks like it. Uh, a plastic liner which holds the uh, the soft uh, trash bag, um, so you know keeps any leaks uh, within that plastic liner. Uh, but that plastic liner is easy to remove, and it's easy to remove that full uh, trash bag. Um, also included are our liner cinches, uh, similar to what's on the Slim Jim and Brute lines, uh, as well as uh, those venting channels, uh, so make it easy to remove um, the waste uh, uh, can liner because of that airflow that, that's created by the venting channel. So a lot of cool features in this product make it very different from other recycling centers on the market. So you can see a couple more nice, nice images here that show you just the flexibility of this product. So four different size uh, choices. Um, they can all be aligned together. Any size can be aligned uh, together uh, in line, or you can create a nice looking island uh, like you see there. Uh, four different lid options. Um, so if someone wants a specific lid option for a specific waste stream, they can they can do that. Uh, as well as uh, actually it's new now we have 10 different waste stream labels. We just launched three more waste stream labels uh, for this. So you know lots of flexibility as you go on um, to order this uh, this product. So a quick note on how you order it. Um, so if you go to our catalog or our website, uh, you'll, you'll see about 150 what we call catalog or pre-configured versions of this product. So what we think are the most popular um, sizes and waste stream labels and lid openings are ready to go uh, in, in two color choices. Um, or, or you can go online. Uh, you can go to um, our website and you can actually build your own version of this. Uh, you know, we don't sell direct, so you, you know, you'll go through a distributor. Uh, but you can actually build a version of this and, and it will create a, a special part number for you that you can order. Um, so lots of different options. I'll go ahead and demo it now. I've got just a second to do that. But I encourage you to um, go to the website and, and take a look. Um, so let me go to this. Hopefully everyone can see it. And so uh, we'll send you the link afterwards, but it's custom.rubbermaidcommercial.com. I'll go ahead and we've got other products on here too, but I'll go ahead and click on configure. And I'll click on customize. And I'll continue. Okay, so you can see I'm in the build mode now and I can actually go on to each stream and I can uh, customize it to my liking and it shows right then and there what your top line list price is. Of course, a distributor price would be very different, so you know, keep that in mind. Um, but I can go ahead and, you know, in real time, change my size. It updates my price for me. Let me go ahead to the labels and I'll go to my top view so you can see that if I want to change a label, allows me to do that right there. And let me choose a different color here. Change to one of our colors. So I'll make it a very nice bright, bright yellow. Give it a second to load. And you can see, so you know, the options are, are endless uh, with this product. It allows you to really customize for you know whatever your operator, your customer needs. Uh, so we're really excited about Configure. Let me show you then before I jump to our next collection. Let me go back into the slides. A couple more quick uh, slides on Configure. Make sure I'm presenting here. Uh, and the first one is eyes on pricing. So, uh, you know, we go to market with our decorative refuse collection. You probably um, you sold it before with uh, uh, containers in every single price point for every budget. Uh, configure with all the features I mentioned, the customizability uh, does live kind of in that premium price point. Um, but, you know, the benefit for Rubbermaid is we do offer uh, recycling centers across all price points. So, you know, good peace of mind as you're out there um, selling. But again, that's where Configure would live at a, at a normal uh, retail price, what you can see on the slide. Uh, and we, we think we can justify that position in the market as well. Again, based on all the features I showed you and uh, if you stack up versus uh, our products and our competitors, you know, we think we really do deliver on, on everything that people are looking for in a, in a, in a high-end recycling system. So good, good peace of mind as you're out there uh, talking about this product. All right, so I'll transition now and um, go into the new Enhanced collection. Um, so I'll take a look at the new one that's coming out in, in um, later this year, uh, and that's uh, Enhance. So Enhance is more of a uh, front of house, uh, 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 hospitality, food service, uh, property management, office building type of focus. Uh, uh, lots and lots of choice here. So lots more different shapes and sizes than we've ever had in any collection before, as well as um, some new finish options for us as well. Um, so here's a good look at uh, what's available with Enhance. Uh, um, eight different sizes, uh, three different shapes, 
Uh, six different lid styles, both indoor and outdoor. Also, um, ash trash smoking uh, management type of lid. Uh, and then as well as those new finishes that I mentioned. So you can see on the bottom left, there's some new uh, vinyl uh, veneer type of uh, laminate finishes. Uh, and we've got five choices uh, to choose from with Enhance, as well as um, some interesting new uh, cutout perforated uh, shapes. Um, so those will be available on those, those panels. Mentioning the panels, the other interesting part about this product is that um, you can see the light gray, uh, what are actually panels on each, uh, each container. Those panels can actually be removed and replaced as a um, operator wants to change their decor. Uh, they can do that. They can replace those panels with a new panel should they see the need uh, in time without having to purchase an entirely new container. You'll be able to order um, the, the panels as, as one each is uh, when, when we launch the product. Um, so pricing, we wanted to, uh, when we did market research on this type of product, again, more of a front of house, hospitality, food service, office focus, uh, as, as we saw, you know, all of our competition, including us, are, you know, kind of that, that opening to middle price point. Then you had Architectural Brass, which is a very high-end, customizable, uh, custom-fabricated competitor, way high price point-wise. So we wanted, you know, we saw a big opportunity in the market pricing uh, to really fill that middle with a high-end premium product, uh, but, but, but without the, the heavy customization and lead times that, that require um, you to purchase from Architectural Brass. So that's where this enhanced collection lives, and that's where we'll position it uh, in the market. So kind of the middle to premium, premium end of the market. So again, products launching uh, very soon, uh, but uh, if you want to take a look at the, the product to get some more information, more details, um, all of our brochures, our spec sheets, um, uh, photography, more information is available on the website. Uh, early this fall, we'll, we'll be putting it on that custom design portal, so you'll be able to go online that, that can, where that configure, where you can build your own product. Uh, it will be on there as well. Um, so you know, feel free to take a look, uh, reach out to your uh, Rubbermaid rep with any more questions on Enhance. I'll turn it back over to Lindsay, who will wrap up with the color-coded food service uh, system. So we're really excited about the launch of this system. It'll be later in Q4. What it, what it is is we've you know we've been noticing with the different trends going on with food service is that there are a lot of illnesses associated with contaminated food and foodborne disease. Uh, and including when workers come to work, restaurant workers come to work sick. So I'm sure everyone has known someone this year that has been affected by food poisoning. I certainly have. Um, just thankful it wasn't me. But, you know, it's, it's certainly a widespread issue. So as we were thinking of, you know, the, our food service offering as far as items go, how can we expand? What can we bring um, to our portfolio to add on to our existing items? What we came up with is a color-coded food service system. And while we realize that this is not you know, new to the market, there's several competitors that are out there with similar systems, we have differentiated ourselves in that we have the most colors and the, the largest variety of offering versus the competition. So as, a, as an overview here, you'll see that we have bases and lids, we have cutting boards, we have tongs, and we also will have our high heat spatulas, which as many of you know, we are very well known uh, for our high heat spatulas. So much so that with our existing red spatula, we kept that color just to make sure that folks weren't confused and if we switched the red you know because because our red is so prevalent that we actually kept that for this launch specifically so when it comes to the product assortment we've got round containers in three different sizes we've got the 4 8 and 12 quart that's made out of our polypropylene and a color stamp will be on the front for easy identification that you can see on the top image there that corresponds with the lid color. So it's just to tell you that that base goes with that lid. There's um, measurement grad gradations to read. They are stackable. And then with our square containers, we also have three sizes, the 4, 8, and 12. They're made out of polycarbonate, and the same color stamp is available on those as well. Uh, they have durable handles for transport and drain holes for proper washing and drying. So for the lids, we've got round lids uh, that co coordinate with the 4, 8, and 12 quart rounds. 
Um, they've got lock lids with a double uh, wall seal and the pull tab for easy removal. And then the square lids also fit these coordinating sizes in the 4, 8, and 12. And then they snap tight and to reduce leakage. They also have a, a corner pull tab to, for easy removal. Similar to what our existing uh, food storage containers are, have today, but just again available in additional colors and obvious. And then you've got the marking on the on the actual container, the base. So onto the cutting boards. These are decently sized. These are pretty large cutting boards. They are very durable. They're made of high density polyethylene. There's a corner hanging hole for easy drying or carrying. We also have a stainless steel uh, cutting board rack that will be available to, for storage. These are NSF certified and commercial dishwasher safe. So a couple things to keep in mind. For the tongs, uh, they will be 12 inch, inches in length. Uh, we've got rubber grips on the handles. It'll be 24 gauge stainless steel. It, they are NSF certified and commercial dishwasher safe. So those tend to be the two big questions we get in food service, right? It's, are they NSF approved and certified? And can I throw these in the dishwasher? And the answer to both of those is yes. So again, with our high heat spatulas, we've got two sizes, the nine and a half and the 13 and a half. There's the silicone blade and nylon handle to resist temperatures uh, up to 500 degrees and also help prevent worker burns. There is the rest that keeps the blade off the countertop, which I think is a great feature. And the blades are stain resistant. These are also NSF certified and dishwasher safe. So that concludes our presentation for today. I would encourage you to reach out to John Youngkaus if you happen to have any kind of questions following our presentation or, or follow up questions at all. Um, he'll be happy to answer those for you or find out where to get the answer for you. Um, his email address is listed on the slide I'm on now, so feel free to jot that down. Um, but we thank you so much for your time and hope that you have a great day.